Hello everyone, today I'm back with another casual chit chat get ready with me slash first impressions and it is inspired by some of the purchases that I made at the makeup store. They had 20% off for VIP members, highly recommend that, definitely sign up. I hauled something ridiculous. So I don't have every single product from uh, every single category, but um, I do have a substantial amount, so let's start. I'm actually going to start with my brows because I always start with my brows and I'm going to revisit my Vizart palette. You saw this in my last Get Ready With Me video and I have fallen head over heels in love with this thing. The matte formulations are among the best that I've ever tried and I'm actually going to use this to fill in my brows. Apparently you can use this wet without any detriment to the shadows so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix a few of these uh, grey shades and a few brown shades to come up with a perfect ashy brown shade for my brows. And I finally groomed my brows so now they're looking half respectable. And I'm pleased to report that this works very well on the brows. And next I'm going to take some clear brow gel, this is by the makeup store, just to set my brows into place. Now I have some bald spots in my brows, so what I do after I put on my brow gel is I do a brow comb over. So I know I have a bald spot on the arch of my brow, so I pull these hairs across to form a comb over. <laughs> I'm going to do the base a little bit later because I'm going to be using pigments and with pigments you will experience fallout, it's an inevitable part of life so I would recommend doing the base afterwards. Before I start with my pigments I'm going to use a sticky base. I always use a sticky base with pigments because it makes the eyeshadows more vibrant but also it uh, prevents them from falling down onto your base and making your base look dirty. So I actually have what is this? High Tech Lighter from Makeup Store in the shade Asteroid and I'm going to be using this today as my sticky base. Oh, it's a really pretty shade. It's like a pink and coppered bronzy goodness. I'm just taking this one just to the crease, not above. I'm now going to do the majority of my crease work and my blending. The reason that I do this first is if I tried to do all that blending after I had put the pigment on the lid, I would disperse shimmer everywhere and I really want to keep it just on the lid. So I'm going to take a smog and I'm going to pop that through the crease. I also find that approaching your crease at different angles can help to define the socket. So occasionally what I'll do is I'll actually come from above and I'll push down into the socket. Just a thought, give it a go. <laughs> Next I'm going to take Deadly, which is a dark brown. It's sort of similar to something like uh, Mystery by MAC and I'm going to define the outer corner of my crease. I also think that Makeup Store does amazing matte eyeshadow formulations. They're really pigmented but they blend really well. That's something that I would definitely recommend from Makeup Store. If you're going to get anything, I think that the matte eyeshadows are total standouts. So now that I've achieved the kind of depth that I'm looking for, I'm going to take an eyeshadow that's quite close to my skin colour and any matte skin coloured eyeshadow um, will do here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to blend that just under the brow bone and it's not going to impart much colour but it will give us that really perfected gradient. Um, this is something that I like to do with all of my eyeshadow looks regardless of what shades I'm using. I can always come and perfect that eyeshadow a little bit later but I really want to get on to the eye dusts. So these are loose pigments and I bought three. I think I might start with Hot, which if I remember correctly, I swatched it in store, is sort of like a coppered pink shade. It's very reflective and pretty. Oh my god, look at that reflective goodness. I am much impressed. I'm going to take a MAC 219, just a pencil brush, to really get into that inner corner. <laughs> Where did you go, my lovely? Next I'm going to take an eye dust in Misty Forest and I do not recall purchasing this. It was all, it was all a blur, but um, I'm going to assume that this is some sort of green. It's not a green. <laughs> okay. Like a blackened olive, perhaps. Hmm, that's pretty. 
Okay, I'm going to perfect that blending a little bit later, but I want to take the final eye dust, which is called Chocolate Fondant. And I'm using the same brush, I'm just sort of wiping it off on a paper towel between. Oh wow, that's really pretty. It is sort of like a deep brown with a maybe like an old gold kind of iridescence. Okay, and for the lower lash line, I think what I might do is I might just stick to the mattes that I used earlier. So maybe I'll take smog first. Next I'm going to take deadly and I'm going to push that on the outer lash line. Because I have so much going on on my upper lid, I do need to intensify the lower lash line so that it looks balanced. I actually don't think that this eye look needs any eyeliner, but I am just desperate to use this cake eyeliner by a makeup store. I also have the mixing liquid, which is in essence a mixing medium, and you mix the mixing medium with the cake eyeliner. I don't know where I'm going with this. And then uh, it forms quite a pigmented paste and then you apply it. This is a bit awkward. Uh, maybe I should put it in a plate. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of the mixing liquid in my handy dandy plate. All right, and the brush that I'm going to use is the Ray Morris Angled Brow. That's just how I roll. What am I singing? Does anyone know what I'm singing? Okay, before I put on some mascara, I'm going to use a few of my Kiss clusters. I love these and they're sort of my lazy lash when I can't really be bothered doing anything too elaborate. So I put two extra short clusters um, towards the center of lid and two towards the outer corner so I've got a little bit of lift going on and I'm going to pop on some mascara. This is Armani Eyes to Kill. No! <laughs> That's right. Okay, let's move on to the rest of the face. Now I'm going to start with foundation and I have very high hopes for this foundation. It is the By Terry, is it Donsilus? This foundation I think retails for about $200, which is like insane. I've never spent that much on a foundation before, but it was for science. So the first few times I've worn this, I've worn it on a few occasions, I wasn't terribly blown away. So I'm going to give it a go again today and I'm going to use the Hourglass number 12 brush because a friend of mine that owns this, uses this, she likes them together so we're going to see how it goes. I'm going to start slow. This is also quite a big brush. I also feel like the brush has a lot of give so it's kind of eating up the product in a way. <laughs> I feel like I'm not doing this right. <laughs> All right, so in conclusion, this is my little mini review. It's not a bad foundation. I do like it, but I feel like my nose looks a little bit dry in areas. And if you can see here, some of my redness is still peeking through. It doesn't quite adhere evenly to my skin. I mean, by no means is it a bad foundation. I'm just being really picky, here, but for $200, you ought to be picky, right? I don't know, I think so. Let's move on. <laughs> Back to makeup store. I purchased this concealer corrector palette thingy. I don't really like face products in cake form for the most part. And I know you're probably thinking, well then why did you buy it then Karima, you moron? Number one, curiosity is a force to be reckoned with. And number two, I'm always trying to prove myself wrong. And hey, I've discovered some awesome products that way. So I'm going to try to take this um, pinky salmon shade and I'm going to use it under the eyes. Hey, that's not so bad. The texture of this is quite nice. I am impressed. Next I'm going to take this skin tone shade. I'm not sure that this is actually a concealer. I think it might be a highlight, but we're going to see how it goes. Well, I'm pretty impressed with that. It hasn't entirely concealed my under eye circles, but I actually think that 
I probably should have put a concealer over that. I don't know, I have no idea, but um, it doesn't look dry or cakey or anything under the eyes, so I'm actually really impressed with that. And what I'll do is, in the description box, I'll let you know how it wears, so whether it creases or whatnot. Uh, next, I'm going to take a bit of my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and just set that as I would normally. And that still looks amazing. Wow. I'm really impressed by that. Wow. All right. I am going to do a little bit of contouring. And I have again here with me Masai. And for this, I'm going to use my Ray Morris Ultimate Cheekbone. She's actually revamped her line, so it doesn't look exactly like this anymore. But um, from what I understand, it's, it's still pretty much the same brush. So what you do with this brush is you put the product on the shorter bristles. You start from the outer cheekbone and sweep inwards. And then if you like, you can take the longer bristles and just sort of blend them upwards. And this is just, I think, the easiest and most foolproof way to contour. I really like that it deposits it in a small placement. So you just get that depth just under the cheekbone. I really love that. And for the lips, I have this lipstick in Bare. It's sort of a peachy nude shade. I'm going to apply this with a lip brush. And this one has sort of like a, a semi-sheer consistency. So it does a good job at slightly paling down my pigmented lips so that I can wear such a strong eye. But I don't feel like it blanks out my lips entirely. But I gotta say, <sighs> These lipsticks to me smell exactly like crayon. So if you were a crayon eating child, you can rejoice. So I was going to stop there, but I've decided that I could probably do with a bit of blush. What do you think? Yeah? I think you agree with me. So I'm going to go with Milani Luminoso. Ah, oh, I love it. I love it. Love, love, love. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my cheeks. I think that this will tie in really nicely with that pink and gold pigment. And I know I said that that was the end, but I wanted to show you guys this pencil. It's a very pale lavender eye pencil. And I think that this would be really great in the waterline to brighten the whites of your eyes. And I'm one of those people, I just have permanently bloodshot eyes, so I need all the help I can get. So now that I've put 30 products on my face, I think we are done. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I as always had a bunch of fun. I'm going to go and try to take some photos of this now. Um, but if you have any suggestions about what you'd like to see in the next casual chit chat, get ready with me slash first impressions kind of video, then you should let me know in the comment section below. You can always hit me up at any of my social media. I love to chat and interact with you guys. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you very soon.